All right, we're back with another commentary Vita 3K video. See, like a lot of these that I recorded this past weekend were non-commentary. But this is the second commentary one. The first one was Stardew Valley, which we had no luck with, with like even though like two days, like four days ago, it like showed a lot more than what it showed when I recorded it a couple seconds ago. And now we're going to try Retro C Rampage DX, which we're going to wait for it to load a little while, because I haven't actually waited at all. I just saw that it booted into the intro slash menus, and then I, like, exited out of the emulator. So we're probably going to talk and wait for it. See, that actually booted really fast. So this loading screen is about as far as I've seen it go. We're going to wait a couple minutes and see if it gets any farther. Because I, I can see this game going in-game, like, and becoming at least semi-playable sometime, like, very soon. This is one of those games that's, like, pretty much every console that it's currently made for, like, every emulator for those consoles, like, can play this game, like, completely. So, like, this game is probably gonna be fully playable on this emulator very soon. We just gotta wait for the developers to, like... Add more stuff to the emulator. I don't know, like develop it more. Cause like whenever I think of like development for an emulator, I always can. Oh, there was a sound. I just heard a sound. What's happening? I feel like this means that there was like a shader cache error. Uh, we'll give it a couple minutes. But I feel like every time I think about like development for an emulator, I always compare it to like developing a game. Because, like, with a game, like, when you're making a game, it's called, like, development. Like, you're adding code, you're animating things, you're changing lines of text, you're making music for it, and all that stuff. But, like, with an emulator, it's kind of the same thing. You're, like, you have to make, like, a, you have to, like, implement a graphical renderer. You obviously have to, like, change, like, do, like, you have to make sure that all the things emulate correctly. It's still, like, a development process. So I kind of, I, I just, I just, like, correlate the two together. I don't know if that's, like, the right way to say it, but I always, whenever I think of, em, like, emulator development, I very much easily compare it to game emulate, like, game development. And I have a feeling that this is not going to go anywhere. We will give it, like, one more minute. It's currently 9.34 at night. Holy shit, I need to do trash. Tomorrow's trash day. After I, I'm gonna probably do 10 second Ninja X tomorrow. I mean, sorry, 10 second Ninja X. You gotta wait till tomorrow. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna, after this video, I'm probably gonna go do trash. Because. I gotta go to bed. I'm not that tired. But yet again, I have to wake up at like 5 in the morning. I have to take the bus tomorrow. And my girlfriend's birthday is on Tuesday. So I gotta. Walk to Target, get the gift, which I'm I'm gonna get her something very specific, which it's like it like relates to what like it's a it's a food, but it makes a lot of sense when it comes to our relationship, cause it's a different flavor of a snack that we constantly eat all the time together. Like this, like if there's if there's one thing that we always are eating at the exact same time together out of the same container, it's this one snack. And I'm gonna get her this really weird, crazy flavor that they have at Target. And then probably gonna write her a really sweet letter. Like she's gonna cry because of how sweet it's gonna be. It's gonna be so romantic, and I have the whole process planned out in my head. And it's gonna go very well. And I'll let you guys know how ha I'll let you guys know how it goes. Maybe I'll let you know how it goes in the stupid 10 second Ninja X video, which is honestly I don't know what that game is about. All I know it's a all I know about it is that it's a platformer with a pixel it's like a pixel art platformer with a ninja, and it has something to do with 10 second intervals. Hence the name 10 second Ninja X. I guess it might also be about ninjas. You never know. I'm also, like, shaking my head a lot while I talk. I need to, like, 
I need to get a computer with a really good webcam or just like buy a, a like an external webcam that I can hook up to my computer so I can do face cam so you guys can all see how ugly I am and how bad my acne is and how much like my girlfriend has to like sacrifice to even like me because of how fugly I am. Whatever. Alright, so I think it's been long enough. It's not going past the screen, sadly. It says it's running at 60 FPS, and it probably is. But yet again, this is like, there's no other frames to like, like, this is one frame, which is this one screen. It's like a JPEG image. But whatever. I'll see you guys later. Have a great day. Don't forget to, like, I, I always forget to say this in the videos, but like, Make sure you like actually like smash the like button. Like I like to I like to say like like smash your like punch your computer like square in the face. And like, you know, like cuz like the word smash is in my channel name. And I, I I specifically got that from My Hero Academia, which like I've said multiple times, I watch that show religiously. Like if like I'd rather believe I like rather believe in a religion that is that show than that is the Bible. Like, like My Hero Academia is my religion. And that's kind of where I got the channel name also because, like, because I like it when he says Detroit Smash. And there's also, like, a lot of memes about, like, Detroit Smash this ass. Like, it's pretty funny. Like, hey, hey, you want to smash? Like, stuff like that. It's like a meme. And a, like a, like a, like a, like a really, like, intense word. And it's a lot of things rolled into one. And I'm just running on right now, so I'll see you guys all next time. Farewell.